Hello, you wanna learn how to create this awesome design? Just stay in this video, cause I'm gonna teach you how. The first thing we're gonna do is create a new file. And this file, I already have it created. It's gonna be a 1920 by 1080 file in Adobe XD. It could be any size, but let's, let's go this time with this size. We're gonna create a square. And the square is gonna be roughly, let's change the transform options to 1200 pixels, white with uh, 700 pixels height. We're gonna take this square and we're gonna center it in the composition. That's it. And right, let's change the, the corners to rounded corners because I see that they use a lot of rounded corners in the glass morphism. Let's change it to 40%. And the first thing we're gonna do with this is change the color to a gradient, to a linear gradient. We're gonna start from the top left to the bottom right. With this, what we're gonna do is change both colors to white. But what we're gonna change in the main design is gonna be the opacity. So the top left corner is gonna be actually with 40% opacity and you can change it right here. And the bottom left corner is gonna be 5% opacity. Both white, but one with 40, the left one at the top is gonna be 40% and the right one at the bottom is gonna be 5%. Now we're gonna take the border and we're gonna change it to white too, to fully white, and we're gonna change it to 60% opacity. And the size is gonna be, let's do like two. And I we cannot see the design yet because we have the white background, but luckily I create a file for us that you can use. It's gonna be in the description of this video, so you can use it. You're gonna double click the folder and you're gonna get a file called background. and you're gonna try to place it in the Adobe XD file, arrange it, we're gonna send it to the back. We're gonna right click it again and we're gonna lock it. Now we start kind of see what's the type of design that we're using. One thing that they do in this type of designs is that they actually make the the glass, that's why they call it glass, like a blurry style. Let me show you that. I'm gonna copy this pink color and I'm gonna paste it in, in, a, in, a, in a circular shape and I'm gonna try to bring it behind the, the glass. But as you can see, if I put it behind, we cannot see the effect that we're looking for, this, the, this glass effect that we were expecting from it. So to get that glass effect, we're gonna click the square and we're gonna go to the background blur option and we're gonna turn it on. The properties that I want you to change here is gonna be in the blur amount, I want you to put maybe 40%. In the brightness, I want you to put zero. And in the opacity, it's gonna be 100% because we already changed the colors for that. And we're gonna have the complete effect of the background blur. And I think what we need to, to add right now is one of those button designs that they use a lot. They create these neon neon buttons and I'm gonna show you how to create one of them. We're gonna create a square first and then we're gonna, we're gonna take the blue color and we're gonna make this with rounded corners. And let's click something that says like, get started. And we're gonna take the text and we're gonna make it bigger. Something like 75 will be fine. And we're gonna take the text and we're gonna put it on top of it. Something like that. They use this effect that is like a neon effect and I'm gonna show you how they do it. Again, we're gonna copy Command C, the blue uh, shape that we create with around the corners. We're gonna press Command V and it's gonna be pasted on top of everything. One thing we're, that we're gonna do is remove the border in the design and we're gonna take it to the background blur option and we're gonna change it to object blur. And we're gonna leave it like in a 30% and we're gonna click uh, send backward one and then send backward twice. Our button design is gonna be on top. Let me t remove the border in this design and let me align everything now. Let me copy, take all of this and I'm gonna group them. I'm gonna align it to the center and I'm gonna align this one to the center too. And here we have our awesome design. It was really fun and really easy to do, right? Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing it so. And if you find this content helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video.